Welcome back to Learn PHP the Easy Way. I want to take a few minutes to show you some of the things that you will need to not only survive this class but to thrive it. And the first one is you'll need some basic HTML and CSS knowledge. Um, it's outside the scope of this class to teach you HTML and CSS. There's a lot of free resources. I'll show you some in a minute to learn these things and uh, really encourage you to do that. Um, the next thing you'll need is a code editor. Um, ideally, Atom.io, which is the one that I'm going to show you how to install. The next thing you'll need is a local host server, which is basically a way to have your own web server on your own PC. Instead of uploading your code every single time you make a change to HostGator or DreamHost or one of those places, you're going to be able to write and edit your code straight on your own PC and that's going to make things a lot faster. And finally, you will need a good attitude. Um, you're going to have to laugh at yourself when you are doing PHP. You're going to spend time you're going to spend crazy amounts of time looking for a missing semicolon or a missing bracket or something like that. And you just have to have a good attitude. You have to have the ability to get up and walk away. Um, this is about the easiest way that I can think to teach someone how to do PHP. So if you want to learn, you got to power through sometimes. So have a good attitude. Enjoy it. Laugh at yourself. Laugh at my mistakes. And just let's do it together. So... If you don't know any PHP or HTML, um, Udemy has some great resources. So if you just come in here and type a, if I could type HTML, um, you can come here and filter by free, and you'll see that if you hit apply, um, you can see the reviews on these classes. There's a lot. I mean, two hours is probably enough to learn uh, HTML, and this one in six hours you can learn. HTML and CSS and make a basic website. You don't need to be an expert in these things, but they should at least be familiar. Another thing if you want to look up is um, Bootstrap, and you can look at courses uh, to learn Bootstrap, and so I would go with the free ones. You don't need major knowledge in these subjects, just enough. And so the next thing you'll need is this Atom.io, which if you can find it at Atom.io, and you download it. Um, I'm recommending everybody do this stuff on Windows. You're welcome to do it on Mac or Linux. Uh, just realized in the beginning you might have some file permission errors or a few little things to work through. Um, but for the most part, I think Windows is the easiest way to learn how to develop, but that's just my own personal opinion. Use what you got. And the next thing you will need is XAMPP. And so XAMPP is, can be found at apachefriends.org and you download it and install it it's pretty simple um and what this is this is the thing that basically gives you a full web server and database server on your own pc so that you can write all your code here and it will actually run when you download xamp um you can go to this control panel and you will see that uh basically i have these two running i have apache and mysql and you can stop them and start them and you can um Basically, you need to have Apache and MySQL running to make this project work. So that's what you need. It's easy breezy. You download the software. You install it. There's no sense walking you through that. Anybody can do it. And then I'll see you in the next video.